Hello everyone and welcome to another week of Fallout 4 Mods. This week, we got all the clothes you'll ever need. Even for winter. Actually, most of these are... You'd probably die if you wore these during, like, a snowstorm. Harley Quinn outfit CBBE by Deserter X. This brings Harley Quinn's outfit to Fallout in three separate pieces. You've got the outfit which provides a plus two to strength, jacket with a plus two to endurance, and a collar which adds plus two luck. This is only for female characters, and while recording this, I used the Lara Croft face preset, but wouldn't you know it, someone made the face too. That's right, everyone. We got the Margot Robbie preset for Harley by Elson Bilskanam. That's right, now you can have the entire Harley Quinn setup minus a baseball bat. You will need looks menu along with ponytail hairstyles, but if you have those two, then you're good to go. Both the outfit and the face look fantastic, and they look like they came straight out of a Batman game. The Forsaken Institute Assassin by Crimson Rider. Institute armors have been expanded with this mod, adding six outfits and eight clothing pieces. Three of the outfit variations are the outfits with barefoot options, which allow for greater stealth. These are available for both male and female players, and they look pretty good on both. I definitely got a Mortal Kombat type feel from these, and the masks are pretty cool looking, especially the one with the glowing eyes. I think that's my favorite. Femme Shepping's Light Brawler Outfits by Femme Shepping and Dave the Drunk. Bringing some more outfits to the Fallout world, Femme Shepping's latest mod provides three outfits of varying textures to the game. Each outfit has 40 damage resistance, 5 energy, and 10 radiation. You can also upgrade the ballistic weave and lining if you'd like. Outfits are for female players only, and they look great. Femme Shepping's Recolors of Newer Mind 43's Brotherhood of Steel Pilot Uniform by Femme Shepping. A retexture of Newer Minds Brotherhood of Steel pilot uniform mesh for female characters, you have a choice of three different textures to pick from. You will have to pick only one though, as the pilot uniform is not standalone and simply replaces the in-game mesh and texture. You've got the Hive, Solaris, Space, and my personal favorite, Medic. These textures are really nice and definitely give some extra character to Newer Minds original pilot uniform. Disguises. Raider Disguise by Singrith and Razika. Sneaking into Raider bases has never been easier. Simply construct your very own Raider Disguise at home. Put it on your face, then stroll in like you own the place. The Disguise will not turn friendly NPCs into ones that hate you when you put the mask on, so you don't have to worry about that. You will be given a holotape where you can adjust the parameters of the mod, such as requirements for if your disguise will work, pop-up messages, and factions disguises. Really cool idea for a mod, and very well executed. PWR, Passive Water Resources by GHZ FBA. To get some extra water without the use of the usual pumps, Passive Water is easy to use and pretty cool looking. There are 15 new water storage items under the water category. Got 8 tanks, 4 water towers, and 3 animated rainwater collectors. Passive Water Resources will collect water if 3 conditions are met. Regular water resources are working, that means pumps and the regular purifiers. The amount of water points generated by one are equal or greater than settlement population, and the amount of water surplus is equal or greater than the amount of settlement water passive resources. Hope you got all that, because you can't rewind this video. Gotcha! This is a nice addition to water collection and a nice variety as well. Also, you still can't rewind the video. Don't try it! Clean Warehouses by Degulat. Simple as the title says, this cleans up warehouses that can be built by getting rid of all the rust and grime. This applies to most of the structures in the warehouse section of the Contraptions Workshop DLC. The Top Floor Loft by Quaz30. Getting away from it all is easier than ever with this house mod. Located in one of the tallest skyscrapers left in the Commonwealth, simply take the elevator all the way up and enjoy luxury like you've never seen before. You have all the amenities like the living room with entertainment center, a jacuzzi central command where you can tell your jacuzzi generals where to strike, pool table room, and a bedroom. There's also a bathroom and a power armor workstation before you enter the main area so you can poop or fix your armor before you go to sleep. There's even the sound of the wind rustling outside that'll slowly make you go insane. Animated Main Menu Replacer, Remembrance by Honorable Vista. I was a little bit bored with the main menu and so was Vista. Now you'll be greeted with a new startup screen which features fire and a helmet, two of your favorite things. The first few moments when the game starts might lag a little bit, but after that it ran fine for me. Interesting idea and something different to look at instead of the usual intro. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 Mods. Hope you enjoyed. 
this beautiful blowout sale on clothes we got. All these clothing mods, they're free. Feel free to download them at your own leisure. And those clean warehouses, that's right, warehouses, they do turn into werewolves. They are free as well. So get ready. Come with your wallets at home because these mods are free. I think, I think that's all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Away!